collecting sealed games. You either love it or you hate it. It seems a lot of people are in the hate it camp, but I love it. The reason people hate sealed game collecting is because over COVID, investors got into collecting sealed games so that they can flip it and make a profit in the future. I think that is really, really sad, and people have a right to be mad at that. That's messed up. It's just like when a limited new release of a game comes out and people get a bunch of sealed copies and just hoard them and there's only like a thousand in existence. If you're doing that, I don't want to be harsh, but you suck. The only group I don't have an issue with of these investor types is the people who buy a non-limited release sealed game. So just like Breath of the Wild, somebody goes out and buys a sealed copy in hopes that it'll go up in price in the future. I have no issue with that. They're simply guaranteeing us future releases because they're inflating sales. But if you're the type that's doing it to invest for a limited release of a game, you're lame to be honest. Of course, people are allowed to do whatever they want to do with their money, but that doesn't change my opinion. You're lame. I'm sure most gamers agree with me too, so a lot of people think you're lame. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's talk about why I collect. I personally collect for two reasons. The first is nostalgia. The second is it's just really awesome to own a brand spanking new copy of one of your favorite games of all time. And you have to remember, this isn't actually hurting anybody. Buying a sealed copy of something like Ocarina of Time, when there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of opened versions available, doesn't impact anybody. It gets even more true with loose copies. Only an issue when these copies get into speculators' hands that are trying to inflate the market and flip them in the future. If a real honest-to-god collector has a copy that's sealed, who cares? It's awesome. And I have seen a sentiment online where people are like, Oh, you gotta open all games, video games are meant to be played. Well, like... Dude, if 99% of copies are already open, and there's like probably less than 1% of them open, it's a travesty to open a sealed copy at that point. I get it, I do, I understand where they're coming from. Video games are meant to be played. But of our favorite games, I do think there is a valid reason to keep a 10 out of 10 pristine mint copy in existence. Preservation is almost as important as playing the games themselves. And in my opinion, Preservation extends past digitally archiving a game. Video games are art, not just their stories, gameplay, music, graphics, but also the box art themselves. The way they meticulously designed the game so that we would pick that game off the shelf is almost as important as the art of the game itself. And remember, I'm not talking about grading video games. That's a whole other topic. And it's a terrible, terrible can of worms I don't want to open right now. I think I might open that can of worms in the future, though. I do want to talk about that topic. All right, my sealed collection. I'm sure a couple of you want to see it. Let's check it out. First, I'm going to show you my favorite pieces in my collection of all time. So I've got Perfect Dark 64, one of my all-time favorite games. Then I have the Game Boy version of Perfect Dark and the Xbox 360 version sealed. I know the Xbox 360 version sucks, I haven't played the Game Boy version, I simply bought them to support my love for the N64 version. My thought process was, if I have a sealed copy of my favorite game of all time, I may as well have the sequels. I know the 360 version is a prequel, but I'm not too sure on the Game Boy version because I've never played it. Now let's talk about my other sealed copies of games I really love. I've got three copies of Sealed Demon Souls, then I've got a copy of Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. I love those games so much, I just had to have sealed copies to go with my used copies. I then have a bunch of sealed PS4 games I got on sale for 5 or 10 bucks. That simply came out of being busy and having eyes bigger than my stomach, so to speak. Then I've got some sealed games I just randomly found when going to thrift stores. Mass Effect 3, Nintendo Land, Assassin's Creed 2, Tony Hawk's Underground 1, and then some bad games, Connectables and Raven Squad. I don't know if they're bad, I just assume they are. You know what they say about assuming, it makes an ass of you and me. Ho <laughs> ho! I'm a comedic genius. I also found two sealed PS3 remotes at my local drugstore. And a Wii U Zelda themed third party remote for like 5 bucks. There was also the sealed copy of the GTA Classics collection, that was a wild find. I almost forgot about the time I found Pokemon Ruby for the 3DS for $5 at my drugstore too. Overall guys, honestly I don't really see myself buying any sealed products ever again in the future. I personally think it's a bit of a waste of money. I had fun with it, it's enjoyable. Uh, I don't even really look at them anymore. Um, if I do find them again for five bucks, whatever. I 
think I would pick them up because why not? If you, especially if it's like a fifty dollar game like Pokemon and it's five dollars, you'd be stupid not to pick it up. Let me know. What do you guys think of collecting sealed games? Is it a bad choice? Is it stupid? Am I right to be laying off of it? Okay.